Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Nick Toy World. Um, today I would like to show you a 3D printed version of uh, Stormbreaker. And uh, this is, you know, it's not a normal toy review where I actually have an actual uh, uh, statue or toy, but this one particularly is a 3D printed version. And, um, and this is what I got in multiple different color. Um, the reason why I go with the uh, 3D printed version because right now in the market they have resin, they have foam, all kind of stuff. Even though they say one to one scale, the the longest one I see is just a uh, hundred and uh, one oh five uh, centimeter, which is still small compared to the real one that Thor holding during the uh, end game or uh, or even Avenger Infinity War. So the three D printed version is actually quite quite large. As you can see uh, this particular X right here. You know the P itself pretty big compared to my hand. You see how big that is. It print in the 3D, so there's some still rough spot that need to be sent out. But if you don't, that's still fine because you could paint over it. Okay, um, it's pretty light, uh, very light. So um, after I reassemble the whole thing, it's around 52 inches long. So pretty, uh, pretty have a, a decent size here, and it came with. Um, three separate uh, pieces with the hole in the middle so I can either put the metal rod and then um, to make it more strong okay and you see this even this uh, particular piece is, is uh, quite big okay and uh, and actually the file to print it out um, it's pretty good it took really long time to print these pieces so you know roughly two weeks to print all of these okay and they uh, they are very well uh, very light it's not really truly hollow uh, the way that it designed inside you see that it, it make like um, a hum, um, honey nest uh, hive uh, you see that it so it make the, uh, the structure pretty strong so not like hollow where you can just press it and you make a hole so this thing structurally pretty solid um, pretty pretty strong okay uh, it came with multiple pieces like I said, it came with the handle, and you can see the handle itself when it connect is quite long already. Okay, it it um, I know it's over three feet long, right? Three feet long. You see the handle? It's pretty quite long already. And then the uh, the head uh, that connect the the axe, it did piece right here. Okay, and uh, it also have a hole go straight through. You can put a rod in here and it well cut out actually not really cut out but when you print it it prints just like that right so when you put that in i already try to put it on um without any glue so to see how they fit and they fit very very well okay so uh, it's amazing how how these things actually uh connect so let's say i believe this piece is right here so see so of course when you connect you have to paint it you have to sand it and make sure that the the line really smooth but but by connecting this you had a pretty long hammer i mean the uh from end to end it's 52 inches it's pretty quite quite big compared to the rest of these uh thorn breaker in the market um and and it's uh, actually very modular right because they because it is actually a way that you can put together okay so i can paint everything here separately and then put them together so for example this piece um see that there the cut in right here i just slap it in like this and this one is supposed to be go in the middle like this through that hole so i can have a hole go across um i uh, was connecting wrong here okay here we go oh somehow okay here we go this way yeah see the hole go through and then this hole also go through so you can have a rod this way and oh man this thing's so big even my hand cannot even fit on it uh, so you see it goes like that right it goes like that and then the um, the axe go on the other side uh, it also oh. okay I, my hand cannot hold it but you have an idea that it's how big that is right it's a pretty, pretty huge axe um, so, uh, 3D version, the way to go, to me, if, uh, if you can afford, you can even try, or you can even make your own, uh, resin, but resin require, uh, you know, a lot more work, but this 3D printed, it just, you know, get the file, print it out with, 
uh, the, the decent printer than that what you get. So this piece, you know, still pretty good, and it's supposed to be go right like this on top of this. Okay, somewhere here, this way, that way. So it'll look pretty cool. Um, and then this is actual um, piece of uh, plastic that go right on top of here. So it looks pretty good. So it's not really print out that way. So you have to put done on. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, put a rod in between from, you know, there two hole in here, put on a cross like this, okay, somewhere like this, and then uh, paint it, okay, I, I'm going to paint the uh, the X first and paint this uh, the wooden rod later, okay, even though this is a, uh, a plastic rod, but you actually see uh, some of like um, uh, wood texture in here and it looked quite good um it kind of light too um like i said the structure in here it not is solid but it more it had like an i-beam uh, type thing in there so that it, it make it quite strong um so here's some closer look of the pieces so you can see here uh hopefully it focus correctly yeah so here's the piece all right and and then Here's the bottom, and here the X, and you can see that you know the real stone breaker. This part is shorter than this part. That's actually look quite real, right? So if if somebody making the same side on this side, then that's totally wrong. This part is smaller than this part. So this is, I mean, it's very accurate. Um, what I've seen so far, um, you see. And then the nice thing about the 3D print is that the the line that it print out very sharp. Okay, so it's very clear and, and clean cut. So you can see that even the line right here, it's very clean because the printer it print it, it print very precisely, right? So it look pretty cool. Um, all right, I um I mean that's it for today. I'm going to uh, show you some uh, progress picture a little bit later, but um, that all I have for today. And this is 3D printed version of Stonebreaker uh, in the uh, full size one to one it's around 52 inches long when complete so quite long okay so now here's some closer look at the 3d printed version um, this is the two main piece of the X and as you can see that it look pretty sharp um, all the line is very well defined um, you know with the current technology you can still see the line when they print it out horizontally but they're pretty minor you know you can sand it down or or can decide to keep them that way I probably leave it that way because I don't want to ruin these edges because when I start doing sanding and I may um, run over these and causing you know it not that sharp anymore and I want to keep it that way okay so the uh, little minor line across like this to me it's no big deal okay and unless they're a piece that you know need to chain but other than that I um, look like I, I don't plan to uh, sand it down at all okay and um, this is the, um, the 3 8 of an inch uh, rod metal rod or aluminum rod uh, that I'm going to use to um, to go across the, the bar I mean go across the, the handle and uh, the act to support so uh, I'm gonna do that right now I think I'm gonna start painting this uh, silver or gunmetal whatever it is and then this can be brown with some texture paint uh, mostly I'm, I'm gonna use pre paint and then uh, do some touch up with uh, regular paint later all right cool so thank you for watching if you have any question let me know thanks bye bye